Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft on the Block. This is the Not Technic Pack 6 tutorial series, which has basically become the official name of it. And uh, it's because I want to mooch off the Technic Pack name so that people that want to see the Technic Pack will watch. Um, mainly because I think that it will be very helpful. So if you're into Technic Pack um, and you're here, then you're basically going to get um, a Technic Pack-like experience, except that I have moved from a Technic Pack um, to my own mod pack. And um, actually... To be fair, it's really Direwolf 20's mod pack as the base, and then I've installed some additional mods. Um, one of them, you can see right away, is Mo Creatures, which I think is required to even make Minecraft Minecraft at this point. Um, I love it. As far as mods go, if you're playing vanilla, obviously, and I have a vanilla Let's Play, which you should check out. Um, speaking of the vanilla Let's Play, I've actually been messing around with uh, textures over there, and people... Um, I got a little feedback that it's not as cool... Um, to have a vanilla let's play with texture packs and I had just kind of gotten into it I've never really played with texture packs and so um, I was doing it over there and I think I'm going to switch to using texture packs here if at all because um, people made some good points that basically it's kind of hard to follow along if you're into the vanilla experience it's hard to tell what blocks are what and it just the builds don't look the same so if you want to be inspired and play vanilla minecraft then you want to see vanilla minecraft as it should be and i agree with that so i'm going to at least uh, do that for a while in the vanilla world so here um, i am using some texture packs i went ahead and installed optifine that's an additional mod that i have installed um, i also installed a couple of uh, a couple of other things um, one of them well i did a bunch of mod updates since the last video um, and I basically did, I don't know, I think I did forestry and um, I had already updated industrial craft and everything. So anyway, I, I did a few of them. So go check out whatever the latest versions are. But um, we'll see if there's any major changes. So far, I haven't noticed anything. Um, so I haven't been back in this world for a while. I don't know what we did last time. Um, because I've been making the vanilla Let's Play. So what I'll usually do, because I have to really kind of, like, the way I play, I have to get into it and um, really just, like, be all about whatever it is that I'm doing, um, especially in Minecraft. So I'll play vanilla for a while, and then I'll play, you know, this one for a while, and I'll make a few vanilla videos and then a few of these so that I can really just kind of get into it and get invested in the builds. So anyway, I'm not sure exactly where we left off, um, so hopefully I'm not going to just abandon whatever it was we're doing. I know we were doing some Thaumcraft stuff, and I'll probably get back into that pretty soon, but one additional mod that I have just recently installed, which everybody's going to be excited about, well, I'm excited about, if you know me from my original, or my other series, uh, the, the Taggarts and that kind of stuff, is this. This is an airship. And I actually just got done recording like 20 minutes of video, and it wasn't recording. And I think it's because I was messing around with um, switching back and forth on texture packs, showing you guys. So I've got a bunch of them installed. This one that I'm using right now is the Sortex Fanver, um, which I love. Um, my favorite is this one. I'm not going to chance it right now. It's awesome. But this one looks the best with the mods because a lot of the, the mod materials, especially like the red power materials... Hopefully this isn't going to jack up the recording. I think we made it through unscathed. Um, especially the red power materials kind of look better with this mod. It is a high-res mod. It's a 64X mod, I believe, or uh, texture pack. And it looks pretty good even with the, uh, with the regular non-updated um, texture packs from red power and, and some of the other stuff and the industrial craft trees and stuff. So I think it fits in all right. Um, so anyway, yeah, so this is a, uh, this is an airship and I, I had built it in the other video and I was all excited to show you guys. I actually flew it around. Um, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to work because I haven't tried it with all of the mods and I haven't actually seen it installed with all these mods, although I think it is going to be in Technic 6 or in Technic 7. So yeah, I think you'll get it with that. Um, so anyway, it flies just to show you and let's see. So it'll fly around, but what I was just getting ready to do, and I, what I thought would be kind of cool, is to put a portal on it <laughs> and really just test the limits of what we can do. So uh, let's do this. I'm going to, I just thought that would be hilarious. So I have a couple of pieces of wood here, and what I'm going to do, do I have a, yeah, I've got an axe. One of the things I've noticed with the Technic Pack is that the wireless remote looks like that no matter what your technic pack is or i mean no matter what your texture pack is so i'm not sure why that is but anyway let's do this i just think this has got to crash the game so we'll see what happens all right so there's an orange let's put the blue 
I don't care anywhere. Let's put the blue over there. There we go. And let's try to fly this thing. Ah, so it just closes the portal. So can I put one now that I'm flying? Can I put one down? It thinks I have one. Oh, it's on the ground. So basically this just becomes, a, it's not even a part of the world at this point. I just thought that would be interesting. <laughs> that cracks me up. All right, so we'll close the portals. We'll stop messing around with that. I knew that was not going to work, but I kind of hoped. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I can't do that. I have to rejoin the craft of the world. And then the portal comes back. So if you were to... That might be interesting. What we might be able to do... Because there's now this remote. Let's, let's play around with this a little bit. Oh, a couple other things that I learned. Oh, well, two things. One, we got to get a compass block. In fact, we should go do that. So a compass block is redstone and iron with more redstone. Let's just do that. I think I've got what I need. What I need for that. We're going to have to make a... This is my standard kind of airship. I'll have to do some some work on it to get it up to par. Oops. Man, what am I doing? Sorry. Um, let's see. What am I trying to do? That's what I'm trying to do. Let's get some iron and some redstone. And open up our portable crafting table. And this is iron around redstone and then redstone around a compass. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to finally make the uh I'm going to finally make the airship that I've been dreaming of. So can I where can I put this thing? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, cool. So it just turns whatever you're whatever you've got into a compass block. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um what else? the remote. Do we have what we need for the remote? So it's like the Zeppelin remote, which I didn't even know. I think it was in the last one, but I didn't actually do anything with it. So any controller, a redstone torch, some gold, a repeater, and buttons. So here's what I'm thinking. Tell me if this is crazy. I'm thinking that I put a portal on on the on the zeppelin i like dock it in the air right like i build like an air dock for it which would be awesome and then when it's it looks like i can put one of the portal spawners on here and it would only work when it was not connected to the world although that probably won't work it'll probably like kick the portal spawner off we should try that so anyway i was thinking that then so i could i could use the remote the zeppelin remote to turn on the or to to yeah disable the the airship like when i when i dock it to the world um or if it happened to like if i fell off it or whatever i could disable it and then i could use the portal spawner like i do normally to get back on it that might be kind of cool and that might be the way that i like get on and off the airship so maybe that's what i'll do maybe i'll mess around with that a, a little bit so what i would need then if we are being clear I would need a portal spawner I think I have the diamonds for it I would need a portal spawner and I would need the uh, controller or the remote to try this out all right let me do that let me go build a portal spawner and a remote and we'll just test out this theory and see and then we may get into building a serious zeppelin although what i'll probably do is figure out what i was doing last episode and we'll do a little more of that so anyway um i know it's it, i'm not sure what you guys think of the texture pack um idea or if you're okay with it but let me know what you think if you'd like me to go back to vanilla or if you even care um and if you like it if you want me to feature a couple different ones every once in a while or whatever um, and if you know of really good mod texture packs, or if you guys are using that, let me know. All right. We're about 10 minutes in already and I've just been babbling. So let me go make a couple things and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I realized that I should probably show you the crafting of the, uh, Zeppelin remote. So I have the, most of the stuff I needed. I, well, actually I didn't make the, uh, I'm assuming I need, let's see, I'm assuming I need an airship controller. 
and if I want to control an airship, so I'm hoping that's a, a good assumption. So I need one of those, which is that. I've got the buttons, I've got the redstone torches, and the gold. Now I need to make the redstone repeater, and that's going to be redstone torches, redstone, and stone, which I have, let's see. Man, this turtle is driving me insane, and he's getting bigger all the time. Let's see. I don't remember how much of that I needed, but let's see. Um, okay, yeah. So I need three of these, two of these, and a piece of redstone. And, as usual, out of space. Okay, now I should be able to make this, I believe. So the two buttons, the airship controller, the redstone, that... Oh, I didn't make the repeater. What a dummy. Oh no, did I? Yeah, I did. There it is. There we go. Zeppelin remote. That's awesome. And I went ahead and made the portal spawner. So, let's do this. Eh, well, let's sleep. <laughs> Might as well. I keep forgetting that I don't have Somnia installed, so I'm used to, with uh, Technic Pack, you have Somnia. And I really like it because I like the, you know, simulating the world while you're sleeping and um, not having to... Well, you can speed things up sometimes if you want to. But it's also nice not to do that it's kind of cheating frankly a lot of stuff is kind of cheating <laughs> all right let's see i'm also kind of getting into this texture pack so i hope you guys at least kind of like it because <laughs> i think it's really cool and it works decently with the mods it hasn't totally been glaring to me all right let's see i'm trying to think of what oh i just realized I guess yeah I need the uh I need the wireless receiver which I will craft offline cuz you guys have seen me make that multiple times so I'll be right back. I guess I'm just getting ready to wrap up crafting my wireless receiver although I think I forgot one thing the stone bowl. If I didn't have my head screwed on I would forget it as well. Okay, stone bowl. There we go. And then we use this wireless transceiver, which is the kind of expensive obsidian and and glowstone and redstone and ender ender pearl. Okay, so I think I have the rest of this. So we need the dish, another obsidian stick, one wafer, and two of those. There we go. All right. I think I think we're now good. So let's go do this. Now we are going to. We're going to attempt to cause ourselves all kinds of problems. Oh, man. Seriously, that's a rattlesnake. Man, you guys... Yeah, to get fight the stinking bear or something. Oh, seriously. I hate them so bad. <laughs> oh, but i got to have his eggs. There we go. All right, because we're going to use them. I think he is fighting. I think he was fighting that snake. Bears don't like the snakes. Neither do I. All right, so we're going to put it right here, short term. We'll get fancy with it if it works. You guys, seriously, it just creeps me out. I'm going to turn the sound off. I won't even be able to do this. All right, so my thought is that we put, is this going to work? We put the transceiver up here, or the receiver up here. We put... Ugh that there we make it orange we need a wrench or a screwdriver or something is that right or do you just click on it? i can't remember there we go okay so this is going to be what have we got portal is two one so this will be three three will be airship orange. That looks good. So now we take this thing and what do we do? Like shift right click and we say huh well that is firing it. Oh I think I, I didn't set name maybe. I always forget that.
there we go. You gotta do set name. There we go. And that totally doesn't work how I expected it to. So let's see. I think I can put it on the side. We're gonna have like a super technical airship. It's gonna be awesome. Let's see. Now, okay, airship. Hmm. Why is that not working? Is that not... Am I just a total noob? Let's see. <coughs> Sorry for the cough again. Now, oh, I can't put it in front. Son of a goat. Let's just see if this is going to work. Oh, we'll, we'll get fancy if it even comes close to working. Now, that should work. Airship orange. Airship orange. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? This is, well, we know, let's just do this. We know this is supposed to work. So if this doesn't work, then I've got issues. That's frequency is three. <laughs> what a dummy. Okay. Okay, so who knows why that's acting strange. Okay, so the idea would be this. We're going to be all like, my airship's like up in the sky in my awesome sky dock, right? And we're like, let's go to the airship. Hop on. We take off. Stop. Rejoin the world. Bam, it's back. Oh, but crap. Now what I have to do is go... Have I lost all of my wireless settings? <laughs> oh, and I need a, uh, I need a, what happened? The receiver doesn't have anything, and the remote doesn't have anything. Same now. Well, let's take her down. There we go. Hmm. That's really interesting. Okay, well, obviously there is an issue with this plan. <laughs> Not that I expected it to work, but it doesn't seem like it's going to work at all. So th I think we lost all of these. What about, I know two was used to be over there, right? Yeah, nothing. And I got that weird hole. Hmm. So that's obviously not going to work. That's a total epic fail. I was super excited. But I should have known better. Okay. So what we'll do if we do this is we'll have our we'll have our airship dock itself have the portal on it, so not on the actual airship. That'll still be just as cool, so we can like portal up to our airship, which I think would be pretty awesome. All right, let me do this. We're already like 20 minutes in, and I've wasted a bunch of time on this airship. Let me uh, let me regroup a little bit, get this stuff all back to working condition, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do from here. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I have some advice for you. Um, if you learn nothing else this video, 
uh, don't try the uh, portal on the airship. So I just am now back to a working state, and I've been messing with this for a while. So here's the problem. Well, okay, so one thing, notice I have three portal spawners. That occurred when I beat the portal spawner off the piece of wood that was over there. I think every time the airship controller was joining and, or uh, disjoining and rejoining with the world, flying and then coming back to join with the world, I think it was creating a new spawner, like a new instance of the portal spawner, which uh, I don't know, because when I beat it off, I got three of them, right? So when I, when I knocked it off the wood, there was three. Okay, then none of this stuff worked. Like all the wireless stuff, I had to break and replace all the blocks to get them to work. So now it's kind of back to normal where if you go, the, so this is on the tower, if I right click it will open the tower and if I step through I'm there, right? And now I can go back. Now that was not working at all. Basically all of the, I lost, not only did the signals get lost, um, the names, but then when I, um, when I put them back to the correct signals, they wouldn't actually function. So you had to break them off and, and replace them. So that's what I did. The other thing that was really interesting is that I came back and this door was off, and I thought that Stanley broke it down because he's a giant of a turtle, but it must have been a uh, zombie. Anyway, okay, we are now back to normal. So uh, airships are still cool, and we will still use them. Yeah, you better run. What kind of snake are you? That's a spotted snake. All right, um, airships... <coughs> Man, sorry about the cough. That's ridiculous. Uh, airships are still very cool. We're still going to use them, but we are not going to put portals on them. So anyway, that's where we're at. Um, let's see. I probably need to regroup yet again because that took me a lot longer than you might think, and that is all jacked up. Let's let's te let's chance this. Um, what if we go back to the default texture pack? Is that going to jack everything up? Hopefully, the video is still recording. Looks like we're good. Dodged a bullet there. There we go. So we're back to the real world. <laughs> the real world of Minecraft. Okay. Oops. But see now that texture, that is weird. I bet if I like unload the game or something, it'll be fine. That's really wacky. No idea. Okay. Well, I think... I can't really call it a video. It's only been like 22 minutes, but I don't want to waste your guys' time. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what we could do to redeem ourselves at this point. Well, I shouldn't say ourselves. What I could do to redeem myself at this point. Um, let me do this. Let me take another quick break, uh, put a plan together for what we're going to do next. I know that we were actually going to do... Um, we're going to do some... Uh, some more of this, the Thaumatic Enchanter and the Fragment of Lost Knowledge. Let's do that. Let me let me do some preparation to get ready for that. I also wanted to actually try out the Zeppelin controller, which I haven't actually got to use. Let's go do that first, just because it is a tutorial, and at least I'll learn something. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is hilarious. This is going to be a mess. I'm going to lose my Zeppelin. I can tell right now. Okay, remote not linked. That makes sense. So you got to link it to a... Uh, that's good. That means possibly that we could make more than one remote for more than one awesome Zeppelin. Because we're totally going to have like a... Like a like a luxury Zeppelin and then like our like work oil rig Zeppelin and all that stuff. So... Hmm. Ah, remote for number one. Okay. Well, so wait, the craft is... Let's rejoin it. Okay, craft rejoined. I have no idea how to use this thing. I couldn't tell you at all. Shift click. Remote for one. How do I activate it? R. Uh... Craft backwards, craft left, oh, <laughs> craft left, right, turn off, chunk letter boundaries. I don't see it. I guess I better go figure this out because it's not working how I would expect. 
I can't like just start. It tells me it's remote for number one. All right, I'll be right back. I'll go find out. All right, I still don't fully understand this. I think though, the idea here is that we fired off and then we get off of it. I, I, it's actually there's really no point to it in the sense of of flying this thing. Although I think we can do that. I, I wonder if we could do that though anyway, even if we weren't on the ship. That's something that we should maybe see. So yeah, so I can basically fly the thing, which is not going to be easy. <laughs> so I better be careful. Let's see. That's hilarious. Okay, so use a number pad for anybody that doesn't know. Use a number pad to do that. Okay. Wait. Okay, rejoined the world. So I think what what I was reading was that the idea is that you can like be on this ship, put the remote in your hand for another ship, control that ship. Or like the the example they gave gave was hangar doors. You could have like hangar doors that you could open or close, and then you could be on this ship. And I don't really fully understand the hangar door thing either. I guess you'd have, I guess you'd have uh, an airship controller that was attached to a big thing that looked like a door, and it would go up or down. I don't really know how that works, but that's the idea. Or an elevator, maybe an elevator controller. Because you can make these for anything. I don't know if I had to make a... I probably didn't have to spend the extra money to make... I think it only cost me two extra levers to make the uh, the one with an airship controller because I don't think it's it uses whatever controller you put in there. And then it links by right-clicking, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, and then this only works when the craft is actually... That must be spawn. Is that what that thing, I guess that's just a regular compass points to the spawn, which I couldn't tell you where the spawn was at this point. All right. So that's that we have successfully done almost nothing useful. This video worst tutorial ever. I really do apologize. Um, again, let me go see if I can't do some Thaumcraft stuff to, uh, to redeem our situation and I shall return. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. I didn't really do anything I promised, except I was going to show you that I'm back to default textures. I've actually restarted. Everything is kind of back to normal, and Stanley's still missing a couple of legs, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know if that's a product of uh, mod updates that I did. This is back to normal. You can see that the thing there looks good. Um, my remote is back. What does that say? Remote 2. I wonder if something wacky happened with my remote as well. And, oh, it's set to channel two. Got it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So anyway, we're back to normal texture pack. We're back to kind of just normal stuff in general. And I'm trying to, let's see. My frame rate seems crappy. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to redeem this video, which has been just absolutely atrocious. So I'm going to go and I think to try and make things interesting, although this is certain to fail given our current state of affairs here. So there's a fragment of loss of knowledge and we have a thematic enchanter which is torturous difficulty. I seem to remember, did we build something else last time? Oh yeah we did, the crucible of the eyes. That's right, we upgraded this to crucible of the eyes. So let's go see, before we try, I think I had a bunch of stone and stuff too, let's get that out of the bag. Zeppelin remote is pretty much useless at this point, unless we can come up with something more clever to do with it. Um, let's put some of this stuff away, because I don't really know what I'm doing with it. Oh, man, what a mess, huh? Alright, let's see. Let's go get let's go get a stack of stone or something off the transmutation table, just so that we can have some junk to dump in there. Let's get some stone. Whoops. Some stone. Let's get some nether rack too. Put that in there. You'd think that would be useful. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bad boy 
And we're going to put some netherrack in here and see if we can increase our chances at all. No. Let's do this. All right. We have 7% chance of success, 30% chance of failure. This is going to be a bad deal. If it fails once, we're dead. There's our 30 minute mark. Loss 100%. This is going to be extremely difficult. What can we do? Can we make this any better? We, I think if we, if we have enough failures, eventually this just goes away. I don't know that... I think you can actually lose it. So it's not just that it's going to be difficult to... Because we haven't had a single success. And we're certainly... 30% to 7%, we would have to get just absolutely dumb lucky to get enough successes. So let's see, can we... What if we change this out with something like that? Does that help us? Nope. Doesn't help us at all. Ah, having something in there helped, but not random things. It's almost like... Okay, let's try apples. Ooh, that's 9%. Oh, what about this thing? 10%. That's going to just eat our skull, though. What about this? 7%. What about some coal? 7%. Um... Oh, there's our Crucible Eyes Discovery. Let's put some Netherrack in there. We're going to need to get something. I think what we get, what I need to do is go on a uh, on a journey for to try to find um, artifacts. Because this is a common forbidden artifact. If we had a better one, we could probably get our chances up. But we have to have so many of them because once they're used, they get taken up. So this is there's no way this is ever going to work. It hasn't even hit. We haven't hit the the seven percent chance of success success once. Yeah, this is a mess. So when does this thing just finally puke out? Let's do this. Let's stop wasting netherrack, even though we just could care less. And let's see. What if we took that is an uncommon artifact. That is an uncommon artifact. We need zombie brains so that we can make brains in jars later. Let's take our two uncommon artifacts, even though we should just be researching them. What am I even trying to get here? Is it worth it? Is the question. Oh yeah, the Amatic Enchanter is important. So let's put these in here. That gives us a 45% chance of success. That is much better. Okay, we got one. We lost our one artifact. Now we only have a 25% chance. 30. Ooh, two. Dang it. But now we're back to like seven. Oh, we'd have to get so lucky from here. There's no way. It's going so stinking slow. Yeah, see, we just lost one. All right. Well, let me do this. Um, <laughs> let me, let me call it a video cause this is a complete disaster. Like I said, um, <laughs> this, this is of almost no use. Um, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll figure out something better to do, <laughs> to do with this. I think what I need to do is go hunting for artifacts. Um, you find them in the chests and you find them in, um, well, zombies drop zombie brains. We could probably use zombie brains to enhance the to enhance this. What was the type of thing? This is a theory, thematic enchanter. If we could, I'm not sure what branch that is because there's like the uncommon. There's all these the different artifacts have kind of a different type. I think if you have the right type, you have increased chances. But so we were able to get up to a couple when we had some good artifacts. If we had a bunch of artifacts we could put in there, we could probably actually get that thing. So, I mean, I think I could sit this thing here all night, and there's just no way that that's ever going to work. 
So I'll take it out. Stop wasting whatever it is that we're wasting when we're doing that. We're lucky we haven't had this thing blow up on us yet. We're really just we're living on borrowed time the way that I'm playing right right now. So um, let's just call it a let's call it a night. We'll uh, we'll pretend like this day never happened. And if you guys liked it by some stretch or some some crazy chance, give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, even if you didn't, just to make me feel better would would be nice. A thumbs up. And also follow me on Twitter, Minecraft OTV, and you can yell at me there. Um, also, I think that's it. Check me out next time. Hopefully, uh, not even hopefully, I promise I will be more prepared and I will be less distracted and I'll know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon.